Yeah, with Mutt and Jeff. Oh, <laughs> The rope's going to break. Right up here at the base of that hill is a deer condominium. There's old Whitley's house. Back down to the barn. This here is Big John Con Tree. This sucker's so big. You can't even, can't even get Mars around one side of it. Big John. Still producing. There's no telling how old this tree is. Good Berkey Pecan. That's a tree that Jasper fell out of and broke his back about three years ago. From there the ground's about 30 foot fall. It's down in that bottom down there. That's what we call the back breaker. This is the harvester. After you shake and rake, then you pick them all up. That's Rhoda, doing what she does best. She that thing that picks up everything on the ground. Sticks, cons, rocks, grass, dirt. Separates the pecans from all the other things and puts them in a container there at the front. And when you get it full, you dump it out. That's your harvest of the time. That's dirty right there. You don't want to stand behind that thing when it goes around.
He's out there picking up sticks. <laughs> Sometimes the rake don't get everything and you have to kind of come through there before the harvester does. Pick up what you can. And This is a trailer full of pecans, is what it picks up here. Beulah Land Pecan Ranch. It's outside of Brazos, Texas. This is a man in charge right here. Man in charge. <laughs> this is a deal that we put hang up here and pull stuff out. Number been there, Renee. Show us how it's done. <laughs> this is going to be shown at Christmas time when all the kids be put down. You need to be smiling. Go there, Willie. Pick it up a little bit. Sixty-five pounds, huh? After all day, it feels like it's a hundred and sixty-five. It's all worth 
when you eat that pecan pie, though, ain't it? What's your way? Put my foot there. I know my foot. Look at this breakfast. Got gravy, oh, toast, yeah. and yeah, there's sour. Shut your mouth. Got, gravy some, and got some bacon and yeah. Look at them fine looking eggs over there. Milk. They cut oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at right here. Got that Cajun coffee. Yeah. Little cow juice. Yeah. Check out all these groceries in here. Oh, then uh, they stocked up or what? Bend elbow, open mouth, insert food. Follow <laughs> 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 me. We'll come right on into our sleeping quarters in here. As you see, here's our window. We have a beautiful view of the mountains in the background. Oh, I like orchard that. out here. Oh, there's the old pickup. Here's a beautiful picture I made <laughs> the other day, sitting down there on the edge of the rocks. Uh, one of my pets. <laughs> And then we got a, a uh, here's our sleeping quarters, enough to uh, uh, accommodate four people. Uh, if you want to uh, come down for the weekend on your honeymoon, or uh, get away for the weekend, away from the kids, we got a nice sleeping quarter. This is mine right here. Yeah, it's not available to anybody <laughs> at any time. The other three is, this here belongs to old J.O. Johnson. This one here is his, and he's got it nailed to the wall, the cover. <laughs> Nailed to the wall, the foot nailed to the wall. There's no way that you're going to get his sleep, that it, you're going to get his uh, cover off of the wall. And then here is the two up here that's usually available. Steve has been occupying this one for the last two nights, snoring, raising the roof. I've seen it go up and down. Uh, Tim usually does this one. Uh, and Greg. Greg, uh, Scott, uh, just different guys. Never know girls. Now me and Jeannie did share the me and Jeannie did share this one night. Can you believe that we both at one time for two nights we woke each other up and say, Hey, turn over. I need to turn over. Shift. What's all that off for? Well, the, and in it's the cold down there. You in, don't the need that. in the summertime, believe me, that off pays. It pays big. And uh, then we have a little after you know, after my guest leaves. You know. Here's where Steve lays. After my guest lays, we kind of fumigate the place. Get the heavy, heavy on J.O.'s bed. Yeah, right? heavy on J.O.'s bed. And here's our first aid. Here's our first aid box. Yeah. It's there. Uh, we'll Come out and show us the generator, how we get all these lights working. Okay, there. as you see, this is our refrigerator. All right, this is uh, a lot of the GE. Food, ice, you name it, yeah. we eat it. Uh, milk, pears, butter. Uh, All right. Nothing. This is, this is what Steve, this was it <laughs> full when Steve got here. Well, as you see, after two days, man, all There's a four-wheeler with a flat tire. Huh? So <laughs> four-wheeler with a flat tire. Yeah. Uh, oh, mercy. A little bit of hog hide. <laughs> a little bit of well, how, how, how do these lights work around here? Okay. Right well, you see, right here is a little bitty outside light. Yeah. These lights here is uh, made up from a uh, uh, a little generator we got set down here as a motor of a tiller. Uh, Jasper, as being an airplane investigator, he goes down and he tears, takes planes apart. Uh, he takes this uh, motor from this little from this little tiller and. He takes the alternators. Jenny, uh, if you're listening, don't start calling me Jasper. But uh, <laughs> he takes uh, takes the parts of a wrecked plane and puts them together. Now he's got right as you see right down in here is two uh, 12 volt batteries that is hooked up to that, which makes a 24 volt. Now we come around here and we. Oh, it's just like the old one more, it don't start every time. Whoa! Well, 
anyway, that is the charger. When it's running, you put this on, and that charges the battery, just like all the uh -huh. other cars. And, uh, right there. Charging. All right. That's to warm up a little bit. <laughs> Thirty minutes of that sitting out here running. As you can see, that uh, this year it's the uh, it's a little light up here. Porch light. Porch light is just yeah. a uh, wing tip of an airplane. That's the little light on an airplane that huh. you can see at night, uh, shining. Suckers uh, are bright. Uh, we've got... How uh, does your uh, running water run in there, Renee? Just a minute, we've got, as you can see, we've got two of them in here. Oh, that, yeah. uh, brightens up. Now, these, uh, oh, uh, at night, this is, uh, all, uh, equal to probably to a 60... Running water works there, Renee. All right, yeah, yeah, just like at home. How about got, that? Got a little running water. Wash your dishes. Yeah. Put them up here. Wash your face. Oh, you you don't drink it. As we, I will show you. A running water is consists of uh, running down there with a jug and running all the way back up here, <laughs> running up here real fast, and uh, uh, taking the top off and pouring the jug over in here. Oh, right now we do this 55 gallon drum. It's and five trips, huh? Yes. Well, it can if you run a gallon, but we usually take about two five-gallon jugs, which uh, uh, you're talking about maybe uh, ten times. Yeah, that's and, all right. Uh, fill, it, fill it up, and then we have water, usually for. Well, let's show them the outhouse. How about it? All right, at the outhouse, uh, in the morning when you get up, and there's frost on the ground, and... Uh, 20 degrees. 20 degrees, and you're, you need to go. You got to. I mean, there's no doubt about it, frost or no frost, when you go tiptoeing out here, and uh, uh, we we built this thing back up, and uh, after after a year down here of not having one, and uh, frost, sleet, <laughs> ice, rain, and you go up in the woods. Well, we we built this. Now, as as the good people of Carson County, we don't want to forget you. <laughs> don't want to forget you. All right. That's what this is. Some of Jenny's doing what she used to put the paper in. But now. We have the old coffee can. Oh, how about that? Look inside this one. <laughs> and where's the handle at? The handle? Play. This is my brilliant son-in-law's drawing. <laughs> uh, we have we have a lot of plumbing problem. It stops up a lot, when it start, especially after a rain. It starts going back downhill back down there. But uh, uh, old outhouse. It, it, uh, it boards lumber that we uh, accumulated throughout the year. We build their stand. Uh, uh, a lot of it is good lumber that we repair stands. A lot of it is what we burn in the barrel. This, uh, all of that is uh, lumber that we burn. Old junk lumber that we burn at night. We sit around the camp. storage room that uh, we made, thought, thinking that we would have big enough or have room enough to put everything in. Well, as you see, uh, it's already full. Huh? This is uh, Verlin's bed. This is where she sleeps. <laughs> right, she gets right. Well, not really, but. But if she needs, she could. But, uh, uh, probably ought to. Huh? Probably ought to get down in there. But uh, she takes it in her kitchen at night and sprays it out and uh, puts her bed on there. Well, now he's uh, got his hunting gear in there. This is our uh, our uh, raincoats, our coveralls. Uh, mine and Greg's. 